Well, howdy, everybody. This is Steve at Thousand Year Home. I am uh, building a house that'll last a thousand years off grid, but uh, I am what you call a dry cabin in that I do not have a water system out here yet. I'm trucking water in and out for me to drink, and I have stock tanks for my animals, but uh, I have been trying to raise uh, trees out here. <laughs> <laughs> I've been out on this property for two years and uh, it's been two years of solid drought this year uh, still tough only it's only rained like one day a month uh, you know so when it rains it rains you know six or eight inches and then it's done hard work but uh, I'm trying to put some more trees in the ground it's a ridiculous labor of love I have no idea why I, why I even try hot Right, everybody in America hot and uh, unreliable weather systems, but uh, here I am. But uh, you know, I'm smart and I'm enjoying this uh, pioneer living. I don't know why. Let me go ahead and show you what I'm up to today for water. Well, I've got a a little olive tree there, and uh, I doubt that I'm going to get that thing to grow here in Texas, but. This is a Pride of Barbados. It makes the orange flowers. These are already big enough. So I'm going to put those two in the ground today. That poor little, uh, that's a rescue plant. I'm working on rescuing. I've got some things working out. These tropicals seem to be doing, they don't care how bad the soil is, but uh, my, uh, <laughs> those were snapdragons and they're, they're gone. But uh, I've got about uh, six, eight trees out here in various states. That which the cattle don't stomp, the, the drought kills, that which remains the grasshoppers eat. So I don't know if I'm going to get ahead of this, the game or not. I'm going to give everybody a deep watering because, man, it's, it's tough. Uh, what else? Oh, I got a little antique rose out here that's uh, been 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 surviving all by itself i forgot i even had it because all the other roses were promptly killed in a drought but then i found this one that i had stuck along the the woods it's supposed to be a climbing rose it was in the climbing rose section i don't think it's a climbing rose you don't climb much let me rotate my uh, snapdragons still they're still trying good job guys these tropicals bloom this year so let me let me give everybody a deep watering so and then dig some holes here that little forgotten rose bush and I, I am telling you it is dry 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 so I'm gonna give him a little drink of water too poor little forgotten thing well it's middle of August halfway through summer <clears throat> got another two months of drought probably very little rain if any so I dug these holes here <clears throat> this one that you're looking at is about four foot deep yeah, much deeper than it looks, and it's holding water pretty good. They are originally there where the driveway was a mud, and so I moved that all over to here. Dug this out this spring, and if you look, there's already fish in it. Now, I didn't stock it. Good Lord above did that. This one was my first. It's just a shallow hole just to get all the stuff off, but there is a lot of life in there. Now, you can't swim in these in Texas, right? <laughs> Not in the summer. <laughs> that algae, that could be toxic. You don't know, right? <laughs> so just stay out of them. But I'm going to dip out of there with my little honey pot stick right there. <clears throat> Fill up those buckets. And then we're going to go water. And uh, I don't know why I enjoy living off grid this much. Sure do. I don't think I could do it with a family. My family's all grown up. But boy... You're headed towards retirement. You know, this started because uh, I was it was the middle of COVID. <laughs> and I couldn't find a house to buy. So I ended up living off grid. And I just got acclimated. And we'll put in a well. We'll put in... The Kudamans of a big home. I've got solar, so my electric's all taken care of. And I got a nice, I've already converted one shipping container to living quarters. So, and it, it's looking pretty good. I need to get it up on its foundation so that I uh, stand the chance of leveling it without the plaster cracking. But in the meanwhile, I still got animals to feed and water and 
trees I put in the ground. I don't know why I'm tempted to even try to put trees in the ground right now. It's an uphill battle that I never win. But maybe, right? My mother used to tell me, Stephen, trust the seed when you'd put the seeds in the ground to grow. Trust the seeds. Hey, I trust Mother Nature. It's hot, and I don't know how she does it, but Texas is still green, isn't it? All right, let me go. I've got a straggly cedar tree there that's trying to grow in. The horses were using it to scratch their belly, so they have beaten the tar out of it. In here, I've got a couple of pecan trees are barely hanging on a peach tree barely hanging on uh, juniper doing pretty well over there blue juniper and then some sage i just planted also barely hanging on so let me water some of these guys up these ones near near are easy i got one up at my front gate he is not so easy to water watering holes I have squirreled away in here you can, see, can you see all those fish in there lots and lots of fish they like it when I dip water out of this little hole that stirs up whatever there is a I don't know hundreds and hundreds of fish in there you can't see eventually I'll get these all down eight foot deep and then uh, there'll be even more life in them There'll be a little bridge across that spot right there. But let me go ahead and dip some more water out and get the rest of these trees drank up. So that maybe they'll make it. <laughs> maybe they'll make it. There is something about the simple joys of life. I just really enjoy this. My day job is in technology, <clears throat> high technology in fact, that's how I make my living. So I guess I need this little bit as a break. We'll go water that juniper through the woods. It's blue tip, and so open east rides. Oh, look at cottontail I bug, bugged a little cottontail out of there we'll see if this guy will survive this drought I got hope trust the seed my mama says in my mind trust the seed all right, all right now all I've got left are those uh, sage to take care of and that will be some driving so I'm going to dip some water out and drive up to the front gate, as well as water that one over yonder. So let's get that done. This is a lot deeper than it looks. Like I said, I put it down four foot or more. Here's a little secret if you're got to transport water and you don't have lids and you don't want to mess with it, just stick another bucket right in over the top. That'll keep it from sloshing out as I go through all the fields. All right, one more tree to water.
already suffering. I just planted him. It's already showing some yellow leaves. I don't know if I'll get this guy to survive or not. We'll see. My fields, they're not really green. All that weed is dove weed. Nothing can eat it but the birds that migrate. Then it makes up 80% of the migrating birds diet. They're little, each one of these weeds has a seed in it. Here, I'll show you. See, these will all turn to seeds. Dove weed is what that's called. Doesn't belong in a pasture, it belongs in the woods. But uh, I don't have much grass left in there than what I have. The hogs are coming out and getting. So one more month and I might even have to bail, bring, get some bail for my horses. We'll see. If I get a rain, we'll be all right. All right, let's get these guys watered up. All righty. Drink it up, little guy, little buddy. Go! Thus concludes my plant parent duties. So <laughs> it takes a lot, I'll tell you. But uh, all right, like, subscribe, follow me along. Bye.